Thermal growth is a term that often refers to machines as they change position from startup to operating conditions. In addition to thermal growth, a variety of other factors could also contribute to this movement. Because of these factors, it is correct to call this machinery movement instead of just thermal growth. In shaft alignment, the ultimate goal is not just to make sure that the rotational center lines are aligned at the coupling point when the machine is offline, but to also make sure shaft alignment is achieved during full operating conditions. Knowing how the machine is moving from startup to full operation is the key to performing this type of alignment. Once you get this, a machine can be positioned in the opposite direction of this expected movement. When the machine starts back up, it will move back into proper alignment. One way to predict movement is to calculate how much we think a machine will move from thermal expansion alone. This is called the TLC method. The concept is that when metal is heated, it expands. If you know the average temperature change, the length and a material factor, you can predict the expansion by simply multiplying these three numbers together. Apply this expansion to each foot of the machine and you can calculate how much you expect the alignment to change. The TLC method provides a good calculation to get you in the right direction for compensating machinery movement from temperature change only. The hot and cold check works to measure the alignment change by how much the machine moves strictly by temperature change of its offline states. A shaft alignment reading is taken when the machine is cold. Then equipment is removed and then the machine is started to full operating conditions and allowed to stabilize. It is then stopped and another shaft alignment reading is taken. The difference between the cold reading and the hot reading will reveal how much the machine has changed in alignment with this temperature change. While in theory it will give the most accurate static measurement for temperature change, it is difficult to implement correctly. Safety lock and tag out procedures usually keep equipment out of access for at least an hour. When that much time has passed, the machines have already cooled down significantly resulting in measurements that do not represent the thermal growth effects of running conditions. While thermal growth contributes to machinery movement, pipe stress and dynamic forces could also be a major contributor. The snapshot method upgrades the hot and cold check by allowing measurement to occur during operation. The M3 brackets allow for this type of check. Both brackets mount on each inboard bearing housing of the machine. By rotating both brackets, you get a shaft alignment reading. One reading is taken before startup. And the other is taken at full operation. Like the hot and cold check, the difference between the two readings will give you the measured thermal growth but this time it is under operating conditions. When measuring with this method, you want to measure twice to confirm the machinery movement. This can be accomplished with a startup and shutdown comparison. It may not be practical to shut down the machine and get it back up to full operation due to time constraints. The solution to this is continuous monitoring. Using the single beam dual detector technology of the Rotoline Ultra and the Live Trend application, you can now monitor in real time the change in alignment during operation. Live Trend works by measuring the inboard bearing housing movement to calculate shaft misalignment due to thermal growth. This method reliably gives information on the relative movement between two machines. The readings are taken for preset intervals for a determined amount of time across the coupling. The relative alignment changes are then clearly displayed as a set of graphs. It is essential to get dependable and reliable results for thermal growth measurements because you will be deliberately misaligning a machine for the purpose of improving the alignment during operating conditions.
This extra information gathered by continuous monitoring is essential for accurate thermal growth measurements. With regards to misalignment due to thermal growth, continuous monitoring allows the user to confidently state, it is what it is.